Hello and welcome to this instructional video for the Hacker Drill High Speed System. This high speed system is designed for delicate bone dissection and the most demanding spinal, neuro and ENT procedures. We have electric and pneumatic hand pieces available, both of which are modular. Today I'm going to show you how to work with the electric system. Firstly, you want to begin by turning your console on. Once the system starts up, you can take the cable that's attached to your handpiece and connect the red dot on the cable to the red dot on the console. You will notice the tool starts up in safe mode, indicated by the orange light. The system can use either a corded electric or wireless foot pedal. I'm now going to show you how to connect the wireless pedal. Firstly, turn your pedal on by pressing this central button here. Then go to your menu on the console by pressing this button here and select the wireless tab. Turn your wireless on. Select the correct pedal, which will be indicated by a colored light. You can see here that the purple on the console matches the purple on the foot pedal. And once connected, the system is ready for use. Now let's take a look at the range of attachments available for the Hacker Drill system and how to connect them and their cutting accessories. Firstly, we'll start with a straight burr. To connect the straight burr, take the attachment and slide it over the handpiece into the unlock position. Once in this position, you can take your cutting accessory, in this case a burr, and slide it through the nose of the attachment. The Hecker drill burrs can be adjusted in 2.5mm increments, like so. Once fully in, you can twist the attachment from the unlock position to the lock position, like so. The burr is securely in place. You can then press your foot pedal to activate the system. Once finished with the burr, you can twist the locking mechanism back to the unlock position, slide the burr out, and then remove the whole attachment. Now let's take a look at how to attach an angled burr attachment to your Hecker drill handpiece. If you move your hands up the attachment, you'll find a second locking system. Here, you want to ensure that it's in the unlocked position. At this stage, you can take your cutting accessory, such as a burr, slide it in through the nose of the attachment and firmly into position. Once in position, you can twist this locking mechanism to keep it in place. Once in place, you won't be able to remove the burr and the system is ready for use. Once finished with the burr, you can unlock the system from this lock here. Once you've got it to the appropriate length, you can lock the system again by twisting this locking mechanism. When finished with the burr, you can unlock the system, take the burr out, and then remove the whole attachment by twisting from the lock position to the unlock position. Now let's take a look at our curved, minimally invasive burr attachment. Firstly, take the attachment and slide it over the end of the handpiece to the unlock position. At this stage, you can take your flexible burr, please ensure you have the right range, slide it into the end of the attachment, like so, and then click the attachment from the unlock to the lock position. Once in the lock position, the handpiece is ready for use. I'm now going to show you how to connect a metal cutter attachment to your Hecker drill handpiece. Firstly, take your handpiece and your metal cutter attachment and slide the attachment over the handpiece to the unlock position. Once in the unlock position, you can take your cutting accessory, in this case a diamond disc, slide it into the nose of the attachment, and then at this point you can twist the attachment from the unlocked to the locked position. Once in the locked position, you can press your foot pedal to activate the tool. Now let's take a look at your perforator attachment. 
The perforator attachment allows for the use of a perforator cutter for the trepanation of skull openings. The perforator attachments are designed to accept all Hudson cutting accessory connections. To connect your perforator, take your handpiece and your attachment and slide the attachment over the nose of the handpiece into the unlocked position. Once here, you can twist the whole attachment from the unlocked to the locked position. To connect your perforator cutting accessory, pull back on this collar here. This will now accept all Hudson connections. Once in place, you can release the collar to lock. It's worth mentioning that the console should be set to 60,000 RPM for this purpose. Once finished with the perforator, you can release the cutting accessory by once again pulling back on this collar and taking the accessory out. At this stage, you can twist your perforator attachment back to the unlocked position and remove the attachment by pulling straight out. Now let's look at how to use your craniotome attachment. Firstly, you'll need to select the correct cutting accessory for the size of the craniotome attachment that's being used. And to begin with, take your handpiece and your cutting accessory and slide the cutting accessory straight in, firmly into position. At this stage, you can take your craniotome attachment, slide it over the cutting accessory and into the unlocked position on the handpiece. You can then twist to the lock position like so. At this stage, the craniotome is ready for use. Once finished with the craniotome, you can grip this collar here and slide forward without twisting. You then twist from the locked to the unlocked position on the handpiece. The craniotome attachment can then be slid off over the craniotome cutting accessory and placed to one side. You can now remove your cutting accessory like so. There are two consoles available for use with the Hecker drill system, the PC120 without irrigation and the PC121 with irrigation. The irrigation kit and pump are designed to be used in conjunction with the HDS121 handpiece. For more information on how to set up your console and irrigation system, please speak to your local area rep. The PC120 and PC121 both operate easy to follow traffic light systems. Firstly, the white light indicates that the port is in standby mode. If you have a handpiece plugged into a port, it'll either be indicated by an orange light for safe mode or a green light for active. For more information on how to adjust settings on your console or set up surgeon profiles, please contact your local area rep.